the, I think everybody is trying to find an outlet for that animal that one helps them alleviate some of that pressure and remove some limitations in their life. When you primarily focus on under threshold work, it is environment centric. It is doing exposure work and generalizing like you're talking about with your animal when working in these various places, taking the dog, hiking, camping, etc. But I think the difference is that you're creating an outlet through you. And I guess the question would be, there's only so many gears that a dog will go through to achieve cookies, right? Maybe you do some dynamic loop work like <laughs> Nino and you're going Tybo with a treat like Nino. But at some point you have to raise your ability to work with toys, to comfortable with tug work, which can be very precarious for an owner who's got a reactive dog. And you're like, okay, we're going to crank this son of a bitch and he's coming towards you this time. Are you ready? <laughs> and they're like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to do it. Hold it back to the side. <laughs> Dog needs to go through that window. <laughs> Not you. Don't hold it in front. <laughs> but at the end of that, you have a dog that has an outlet. You've strengthened the bond. The dog sees you as that outlet. Mm -hmm. The dog has 